So we've got this uh, wooden rectangular metamech again, which we will be making some good progress on because I don't know if you can see it on the right hand of your screen. I will move that out of the way. You probably know what it is already. Uh, <coughs> I have prepared the plywood edges with a chisel from the pocket knife over there, uh, and we have a movement. And you can see it's very similar to this one. On I don't know if you saw the series on uh, this one on the left. Uh, probably because it hasn't been out yet. Uh, it's been recorded, but it's going to be a couple more days or weeks maybe before it's actually um, fully done on YouTube. But yeah, this one's black compared to the brown of this one. And apparently it doesn't work, but... Uh, very thankfully, it has been uh, um, provided by a generous associate for this project. And it appears to be uh, an exact fit as to what this would have had originally. Except the thing which I think it would have had on the top, but I still haven't managed to find out what this would have looked like originally. It might have even had a metal panel on the back. <laughs> Judging by the screw holes, I still don't know. But... Uh, I think in, before we attach the movement, <coughs> in today's episode, we can cut some of this to fit and fill in this gap. Uh, so it's not very uh, clock UTB at the moment, it's sort of woodwork I guess, but uh, it still needs to be done. And I thought may as well put it on here. So I think there's a measuring device around here somewhere. So I've got this here, and we can use it to measure. So, we have a gap, which is uh, 95 millimetres uh, long, about, and uh, 63. 60, I'm going to say 62 uh, millimetres um, wide. So I will get this and I have a pencil somewhere. I just need to get a pencil. And a pencil's what I have. Um, I can't remember what the measurements were. Uh, what was it? Uh, 95 by 62 I think yeah all right so I need to deal with these weird edges uh, I guess we could do it like this save ourselves a bit of time by using these sides is there enough material on here probably so that's uh, There's not quite enough. No, there is. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. This should be enough. Uh, so we got all right. Ninety-five. Uh, we need a right angle. Uh, what do I have that's right angled? This glass. So, uh, like that, like that. So this top line is the uh, angle, and we also need it here. Uh, let's measure it again. Ninety-five. Uh, need to stand up. Ninety-five is about there. All right. So this should be what we need. So if you can see that, there it is. And it was sixty-two. 
which is there, and 62, which was there. So we've just about made it in the um, boundaries, which I'm very happy about, because I was worried that it would be difficult trimming off all those little bits. So, uh, I will cut this one, probably do it on camera, it'll be quite interesting to see. Probably, so I'll just make some space. So, I've got um, the saw, a little saw here, and I'm just gonna try and cut this. My sawing abilities are not the best, but I will try and get this as straight and good as possible. So, wish me luck, and do not criticise my sawing. <laughs> this bit closer to me. Doing things on camera is really annoying. Gets to the wrists quite, doesn't it? Oh. I don't think I'll ever do this on camera again. Nearly there. Always smarten up the edges later. All right, we did it. So that's that cut. Now we can. Uh, do I do want to switch sides? Uh, I guess just this bit. Let's see what I'll do is I'll do what I did the other one. Just get rid of this knobble. That makes it much more annoying. Try here. That's that. This is the line I'll be following, so I can just send that. Uh, I guess uh, you know what? I don't need this off cut. Ooh. Pro skills. Okay, one last cut. That's for this one anyway. I don't think I'll do the other one on camera. Because I need two for the thickness.
does that, I'll do the same again and then I'll try and spartan them up. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just say this episode is cutting bits of plywood. Um, yeah, uh, see you next time when it will all be ready.